You've been part of two huge projects in Good Girls and a nearly identical name in Good Boys. Oh, right. Yeah. So are you just looking for projects that are good? I, I, I no. I got it. I got an email from my manager that said uh, you have an offer for uh, Good Boys, and I thought there were. I thought it was a joke. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, is like, you are a good one. I'm a bigger, I'm a bigger, good one. And he's like, no, 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 it's Seth Rogen. He's producing. I was like, oh, oh, for real? Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> so I, I, you know, it's not that I'm seeking out necessarily, you know, shows with good in it, but I wouldn't mind being in the good place. Oh, and being in, you know. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. In the hopes that you continue the good trend, we here at A Little Late with Lily Singh took the liberty of mocking up a couple future projects for you. In fact, first up, good hats. <clears throat> oh, you like that? Right. That's right. Now, this will be like a period dramedy um, revolving around just does she find the hat? The hat. You know what I mean? Uh, stay tuned. Cliffhanger. Cliffhangers all over the place. Up next, we have good grief. <laughs> Brought to you by the producers of Good Hats, obviously, <laughs> obviously. This one is about, you know, a private investigator's quest for the truth. And the truth is way closer to home than she's ever expected. It's chilling. It's chilling, <laughs> honestly. Up next, and I would love this one, it's Good People. <laughs> of course, from the producers of Good Hats and Good Grief, obviously, yes. of course. It's a half-hour comedy on cable TV about a group of good people. Maybe they work some obscure government branch. I'm just spitballing here. No, it seems like a winner. Yeah. I'm just saying, seems like a winner. I think it might be the Parks Department. S seriously, though. Seriously, though. <laughs> people are still obsessed with Parks and Rec. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. Is there... Girl, girl, spill the tea, OK? Mm -hmm. Is there conversation of, I don't know, reboot happening or anything? There is... Well, yeah. When we did... Um, when we had our 10-year anniversary of when uh, we started the show, or was it the end of the show? But... Um, Someone asked in that uh, that uh, whatever what, that theater mm -hmm. said, um, you know, would you ever do the show? And Mike said, if everyone agreed to do it, yes, we would do. I, I think it was more of along the lines of a movie, though. And and so um, we all said, well, yeah, we would do it. But you know, some people are getting too famous, Chris Pratt. And they're, not <laughs> <available>. <laughs> they're not available. But as soon as you know, Chris Pratt's star starts crashing, we're making parts. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Now, I did mention it. I wasn't lying. I even told you this when I met you. I love Good Girls, and it's finally coming back for season three. I'm yeah. coming. <laughs> now, are you the type of person that likes to be kept in the dark? about your character, or do you want to know everything that's going to happen? I don't want to know anything. I, really? Yeah, I, I wait to the last minute to read the scripts. Um, I hate when people are talking about it. On t I'm like, I, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean he did that? <laughs> I didn't read it. Um, if I could wait to see it with the audience, I would. But really? I have to read it before so I knew my lines. But yeah, no, I don't like to know. Whereas May likes to know everything. She steals scripts and reads it, and she's always like, you're not gonna believe. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, Christina's in the middle. She, she wants to know enough that she can inform her performance, yeah. but she doesn't want to know everything, and May is just like, y'all are losers. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone else's character arc, anyone on the show, that stresses you out besides your own? Every single thing on the show stresses me out. I call <laughs> Jenna, our creator, every episode to say, why? Why are we doing this? But the whole thing, I, you know, Ruby, my character, was very much excited about Beth getting some from the gang member, whereas I did not like it at all. Really? I was too... He's a gang member! <laughs> I was like, he shot your husband. I mean, <laughs> I gotta be real. Them. I loved it. I was like, yes, girl! Yay! You're not alone. I was so excited. I, that was basically me. I was living vicariously through her. Twitter was on fire. <laughs> and then when she shot him, on fire again. <laughs> well, speaking of fire, <laughs> season three is about to get a lot hotter because it was just revealed that, you know, casually, uh, Megan the Stallion, yeah. the <laughs> Stallion, <laughs> is guest starring. I, I just... Literally, on the way here, I got a text that said, did you know Megan Thee was on the episode? And I was like, I don't know, but I guess it's going to be a hot, a hot good girl something. Ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! You've been doing a lot of night shoots. Oh, yeah. A lot of night shoots. That's really hard to do. What, what, what time are we talking here? 
Uh, well, now it's a little bit earlier because, you know, it starts getting darker earlier. So we just start, we'll start at like 4 and then go whenever. Sorry. This season has not. PM, start at 4 p.m. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But if we're doing splits, that means we start early. You know, we start at 7 a.m. and do half, and then we do the second half starting at 4. So it can go very, very late. Okay. Well, I we haven't been too bad. Okay. I feel like you've got night shoots down to a science, though. I want to show everyone what I'm talking about. Let's check out this video. No tomato or pickles. Legit ordering Postmates. Only. We are we are on a moving car. Onion. And she's trying to get. Only onion and what? <laughs> lettuce and onion. Lettuce, lettuce. Postmates, nice room service. <laughs> So wait, hold on. I have so many follow-up questions. How do you order Postmates to a moving vehicle? Because there's a map of where we can drive that's that's marked. So we're like, try to catch us on this route, homie. Like, <laughs> like she was she was on the phone with the Postmate the whole time. She goes, there's a spot. They have it chained off. Just wait there. We're gonna come by. We'll send somebody to come get it. It's like the show. Yeah. You're just doing a drug deal for yeah, real. Yeah, exactly. Just like give me back the guns. You got the guns.